Hi and welcome to another installment of finishing every song on my hard drive. In this series I'll attempt to finish every single abandoned project sitting on my hard drive and currently we've finished two songs. In the previous video I spent quite the amount of time building a choir for my verse and I decided to do the chorus off camera as I was approaching it with the same techniques and I didn't want to repeat that just in another video. And I, I did do it the exact same way except for one thing and I'm going to show that to you right now. I still did a bass note layer which sounds like this. As well as an even lower octave uh, in some places. Just to accentuate a few spots here and there. And I still have a do layer and I found a great way of using the do's to, to push the music forward. And it sounds like this. Do, 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 do. So as you can tell, I still have the foundational elements. So what I did um differently this time around was that I um I decided to sing lyrics instead of just e oos and ahs and do's and whatnot. Um, so I did this layer. I'm so lost, please help me. I'm so lost, please come save me. I'm begging. As well as a lower octave of that same thing. I'm so lost, please help me, I'm so lost. So I'm singing, I'm so lost, please help me, I'm so lost, please come save me. And I know this sounds like really depressing lyrics, so where did I get that from? I got that from the, um, the scratch improvised vocal I did um, two videos back. That sounds like this. Lost in the night sky, lost for the long ride. So that makes no sense. I'm singing lost in the night sky, lost for the long ride. It doesn't make any sense, but I, I caught that uh, lost and decided to to use that as um, as a way to approach the storytelling. So now I at least know that it's about someone being lost and um, needing or calling for help, maybe more so. So the entire thing sounds like this. And if I put on the metronome, you can hear the uh, the six six four, right? So it, it helps you move along to this. It sounds like this. Then I came up with the the thought that this song was actually about. Um, anxiety in some form or another and I decided to um, to really um, give it like an anxiety inducing effect just really shift the entire song and I did that solely by adding a kick a very oversaturated kick so when that kick hits it just shifts the entire uh, feel of the song because the kick really feels like a downbeat but it isn't in, if you count it in 6-4 but it just, it's just so strong that you start hearing the song in 4-4 four, four, and then you have this 6-4 in the background which is kind of neat and it sounds like this If I put on the metronome, it sounds like this. So that 
that's how far we are currently and I still haven't written any lyrics whatsoever but I feel like I've dialed in what the theme of the song is this this anxiety hit, hitting and the person calling for help yeah I think that's it so now the question is as it always is what do we do now I feel like we have to extend it so let's just duplicate the entire thing yeah and then we should um, we should probably add a snare Oh, this is disgusting. I love this. In my head, I keep hearing this. This very deep snare sound. Right. But that's currently not the thing we have. I'm going to try something. Give me a second. Crunchy fruit mousse. Maybe this works. Who knows? Oh, you feel me? Here I'm just cutting off the reverb again uh, because it's going to be crazy. Okay, so now that part really slaps and we need a synthesizer. I can feel it. Let's go for a hybrid. Hi. Yes. Wow.
I'm not sure how, but within this string sound, I'm I'm hearing just a very high kind of female bill quality like um, minor nine chord. I'm not sure why, because I'm not playing the nine in the beginning. But I'm still I'm still hearing it so uh, maybe um, maybe my sequential can do something to emulate that let's uh, see if we can do that there we go that's exactly what I was looking for the airy sound, whatever that is. Yes. Save it. That's about it for this video. If you're interested in what I do musically, then check out the links in the description down below. And I've got a Patreon as well with even more music if that's something you are into. But for now, let's have a listen to what we were able to achieve this time around. <laughs> Thank you.